It's surprising how many pay TV operators uh, still are in, in, in the United States that don't offer their consumers a full-on TV everywhere experience through one of their own branded the apps. What do you think the hindrance is? Um, it's priorities, mm -hmm. uh, it's expense, and uh, we can address some of that by authenticating into third-party apps. So for, for a smaller operator, or, or even for a larger one, um, uh, you can authenticate your pay TV subscriber into HBO Go, mm -hmm. for, for example. And that's a real value to the consumer as well. They have their identity uh, that proves that they've paid for a pay TV subscription and they get access to their favorite content on HBO across multiple devices. And the glue that binds that together, that federates that pay TV operator's consumer identity within the HBO app is, is the service that, that we're offering. And over the years, that's been even more streamlined uh, than it's been in the past. One that we're very excited about that continues to get rolled out is home-based authentication. So what if consumers never had to enter a username and password, right? That solves the friction that we see on authentication. Yeah. Um, and we can do that because we can recognize the modem you're on at home. I think operators are leading in. I think they recognize the problem. They recognize uh, that they need to offer this value to their consumers, and, and they are solving it. Um, we found our engagement with operators to be deeper than it's been in the past. Uh, they are actively talking to us about... They return your calls now? <laughs> That's great news. Uh, that's that's, that's <laughs> always a good thing uh, when, when you're a vendor. Um, um, and I'd like to believe that they return our calls because they're actually seeing the value we're adding. Uh, they, they, they're talking to us about new devices that they want to enable. They're talking to us about new programmers they're, they're, they're kind of adding on. Uh, now remember, we, we don't just uh, work with the operators, we work with the programmers as well. So, um, you know, when we work with a programmer like an HBO, you know, they're looking for uh, a footprint. They're looking for us to enable all of their affiliates. They too are leaning into multiple devices as, as, as quickly as they can. And, and I think um, uh, what's becoming clearer is that this is not an experience to nickel and dime on, right? This, this is going to be core. If you're going to be in the pay TV business, this is core to the platform that you are offering because it is clear that devices outside of the TV set are going to be important. Yeah. And, and, and so, you know, trying to compromise on the quality of the platform, trying to compromise on the kinds of devices the platform enables, trying to compromise on your ability to take advantage of innovations in the space are, are mistakes. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the initiatives that uh, we were able to support and offer to many of our customers is uh, single sign-on. Um, we worked with Apple on enabling single sign-on across a series of apps on Apple TV and, and um, iOS devices, uh, which is a remarkable improvement in user experience than it's been in the past. So if you're an operator, if you're a programmer, I mean, you want a platform that enables that. Uh, I think there are a, a few core elements um, that are getting more and more important. So, you know, people throw out words like scalability and reliability, but this is absolutely true. 
um, those axes of operators, content providers, device operators is, is growing and along every axis means the whole thing grows um, exponentially. And when you have a hit show, you're going to have millions and millions and millions of users all trying to ping the platform between 8.59 and 9.01 p.m. because they all want to see the start of the show. Uh, that's what we mean by scalability and reliability. We're really good at that. Um, I think the other thing that um, we deliver really well, which we believe will continue to be important, is business model heuristics and fraud prevention. Different programmers, different operators have different tolerances and, and, and different kinds of user profiles they want to build. And I think we do a really good job at that. I think we're very focused on um, streamlining the actual login experience itself. Like, like, like I mentioned earlier, home-based authentication was, I think, a huge innovation in the industry. It is, um, instead of seeing um, you know, a 50% drop-off rate, now we're seeing a 10% drop-off rate or less because you don't need a username and password. Yeah. We're already investing in ways to allow us to take that streamlined no authentication approach outside of your home, leveraging the power of mobile devices. It's, it's kind of a, a path of innovation that, that we, on, we at CenterCore have been on um, uh, in the past. And, and, and lastly is the power of the community and, and power of scale. And you know, it, it is the closest thing we as an industry have to identity, to knowing uh, d done right, um, in partnership with, with our customers, it allows them a real platform to eventually personalize a customer's experience, really understand what their subscriber is viewing, consuming, what they're browsing, and, and over time uh, increase the richness of the products that they're offering to their users, and ultimately drive engagement.